Okay, so the next lens I'm going to talk about is the Torque lens. Um, before I dive into this lens uh, too far, I just want to take a moment to comment on the fact that the uh, Torque lens, as well as the next two I'll talk about, the multifocal and the light adjustable lens, these are all um, not going to be covered by your insurance company. Um, some people have great insurance and I, and I get that, but these lenses are all deemed cosmetic and so they just won't cover them. Um, they'll still cover your surgery and the same copay or deductible would kick out as if you were choosing option one, the standard lens. It's just that any of the fees associated with the lens would get passed directly to you. Now my staff will break them all out for you so you kind of know what you're getting into, but uh, I just want to make sure before we get too far into the videos that you're aware of that. Um, so that being said, the Torque lens. So this lens does treat astigmatism. It is similar to the monofocal lens in that it is a, excuse me, the standard lens in that it's a monofocal lens, uh, meaning that we set it to one focus point. So options one and two are really our uh, single focus lens implants, if you will, whereas three and four, we start talking about range. And so if I mentioned to you, you have astigmatism and your goal is just to see well in the distance without glasses, and you don't mind wearing reading glasses for things like the computer or reading up close, well, the torque lens can likely achieve that for you. Um, so the torque lens, you know, we, we can build the power into it. And then at, additionally, we can also put the, um, your astigmatism prescription in the lens as well, right? And so uh, just like the standard lens, I can set this for whatever you want me to set it for. Uh, meaning I can set it for distance and you wear reading glasses. And that's you know, the nice thing is that the reading glasses that you would get would just be over the counter. You wouldn't need some fancy prescription now. Um, I could also set the torque lens implant to make it so you can see well up close without glasses. But in that scenario, you're likely gonna wanna get prescription distance glasses because they just don't make over-the-counter you know, glasses for distance, if you will. Um, they actually do on Amazon. I can help you find it potentially, but for the most part, people that get their lenses set for up close end up getting prescription distance glasses. Um, you could also do monovision technically with this lens where we set one eye for distance and one eye for reading. But that separation of the eyes can be disorienting, so I only recommend that for folks who have done that successfully before with contact lenses. It's not something you want to experiment with this lens because whatever we do with this lens is going to be permanent. Um, one uh, comment also I'll make here, some people have this idea that they're nearsighted now, so if they get the torque lens instead of a distance, they'll be able to see both things. That is not the case. Whatever we do with this lens implant, that's what you'll be. So if I set this for distance, you will see well in the distance and you'll need cheaters and the vice versa would also be true. And so we're not getting glasses out of glasses the whole nine yards here. Um, the other note I'll make here is that with the Torque lens, we're gonna get you functionally good. Let's say you choose the distance. We'll get you functionally really good at the distance here. But um, I don't want people confusing this for LASIK. You know, LASIK, we have incredible accuracy because we're, we're, you know, we're dealing with ablations of a microns of tissue, very, very specific. But here, we, uh, the formulas we use to calculate the power of the lens, they all have to sort of predict where your individual eye is going to heal the lens implant in and how your cornea is going to heal. And while we're very good at that, it's not 100% perfect. At the end of the day, your eyes, your eyes, your body, it's unique, and small little things can deviate from what is predicted. Now, what that translates to is that you might be 2025 or 2030 after the surgery, um, if I set that for distance. Um, but you know, in the state of Texas, you're legally allowed to drive uh, with 20 or 40 or, bit, or better. And so, uh, for sure, you're gonna be functional after surgery with the Torque lens. But uh, if you're really looking for that super sharp perfection, you probably wanna consider option four on this list. Uh, and I'm, you can skip to that video if you want, but I'll be talking that in option four. Um, so just keep that in mind with uh, really with all cataract surgery. Um, if you're looking for more range than what I've described, just um, you know, stay in tune for the next couple of videos here.